Hey, what's up guys? It's Cody with Cody and Christy Photography. So I'm going to go over a little bit about shooting tethered. Uh, now there's a lot of different ways you can do this. There's a lot of different programs and software, but I'm going to show you kind of what I think is the easiest and most foolproof way to shoot tethered. I recently just kind of ran across a company called Tether Tools. And by the way, these guys are awesome. They have everything that you could possibly need that has to deal with shooting tethered. Um, and they're more than helpful and their customer service was awesome and they kind of enlightened me to kind of a new way of shooting tethered so I'm going to kind of show you that now so before what I was doing was just shooting tethered in the Lightroom but the problem is is kind of we all know like you know just stuff happens you have to change your battery and sometimes your uh, your cord gets yanked out and uh, by the way actually tether tools sounds or sells a thing it's called I think it's called a jerk stopper um, and so that's kind of at least one problem eliminated, but you have to turn your camera off to change your battery and whatnot. So, um, and the problem that I had with shooting tethered to Lightroom is that sometimes it always does it connect back or it's kind of a pain to connect. And, you know, sometimes you're going to different locations and doing this and that. And it's just, it's kind of not really simple just to kind of unconnect and reconnect again and just start shooting. So I'm going to show you kind of a, a way that they kind of uh, enlightened me too and it works awesome so this is for all Canon shooters so what we're gonna do is just download Canon utilities and we're just gonna open that up and by the way I'm shooting on a 60 so all I'm gonna do is once I've got it hooked up to the computer I'm just gonna turn my camera on and then that option should pop up okay and see this little setting right here it says camera settings and remote shooting all we're gonna do is click on that and so that's going to pull up this little box right here. And this is another reason that I like shooting using Canon Utilities rather than Lightroom because it's really cool. You can control everything right here. You can change your ISO, your f-stop. You can do pretty much anything you need to do on the camera. You can do it from right here. So let's go ahead and just make a new folder. We'll call this folder, let's see. Okay, test, shoot, underscore, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so after we make this folder, we'll need to just go to this little icon right here and we'll just click browse, go to the desktop and let's just go ahead and select that folder. So now what it's doing is it's putting and just hit click. Okay. Now what it's doing is it's basically just putting um, those images into that folder. So we'll take just kind of a test shot of actually, you know what we need to wait because I'm going to go ahead and put it to Lightroom. So another thing that they had an article on was kind of if you still wanted to use Lightroom, which we definitely do. Um, sorry, Miss Katie, this was a senior we shot a couple of weeks back. So let's just go to library. It's gonna we're gonna create a watch folder, and what that's gonna do is it's just kind of it's just gonna import the images that go into that folder in Lightroom. So we're not shooting tether to Lightroom anymore. We're shooting tether to Canon Utilities, but it's just watching that folder and importing everything. So. We'll just go to auto import and then auto import settings. So right here, we're going to choose our folder. In this case is going to be test shoot one, two, three, four, five. And guys, excuse me if I'm a little slow with this. I'm kind of doing this uh, new to this as well. So let's see, just click OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to folders right here and we're going to add that folder. So here it is. And also make sure, let's see that we go to auto import and also make sure that we enable auto import. So let's just find that folder right there, good. And let's, let me minimize this so I can kind of show you what's happening. So we'll go ahead and take a test shot real quick. We're gonna shoot Sparky, he's gonna be our subject today. Okay. So we've taken that test shot and this is also just gonna kind of bring up a quick preview and there's a way to turn that off, but at this particular time, I've forgotten how. So as you see, kind of in Lightroom, what it's doing is it's watching that folder and uh, importing anything. So I'll show you this. We'll just take a couple of shots of Mr. Sparky right here. Let's turn Sparky around. Let's see. Awesome. Okay, so here's another issue that I had. Actually, let's see. Let me make sure this is checked. Okay, oh, it's just taking a minute because these are raw files. I think it's a little bit faster with JPEG. Okay, so if you notice as you're shooting, it's do Lightroom's doing this thing called auto advance. And I've called Lightroom and apparently in Lightroom 4, somebody just messaged me if they, if they know another way. But 
apparently there's no way to turn this off here. If you're shooting tethered in Lightroom, all you do is hit this option right here that says auto advanced selection, but we're not shooting tethered in the Lightroom. Um, so kind of a way that I found around this, and this is what kind of this whole video is about, is if you want to, because sometimes, I, you know, I may be shooting and then Christy's showing to a client or something like that, and it's really annoying as you're shooting to have these images pop up. So um, a really simple way is just go to auto import and then just disable it. That way you can shoot, I'll take a couple more shots here. Okay, so I've taken about three or four shots and if you notice, nothing's happening. So let me minimize this. So everything's kind of gone in there and everything is in the folder uh, still, but um, it's not bringing in a Lightroom. So you could be showing this while I'm, you know, while you have someone else shooting or, you know, something like that. So, but say you want, and then you want, of course, those images to go back in there. All you got to do is hit this option again. And it may take just a minute because these are raw files. But as you see, they're already popping back in. So that's kind of a, a way that I found around it. It's, it's a little annoying. And I hope that uh, Lightroom or Adobe can fix it. Um, but as far as I can tell, that's kind of the only way to do it as of now. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. And definitely check out Tether Tools. They are an amazing company. Uh, their products are absolutely fantastic. Um, as far as I can tell, they actually sell these orange tether tethering cables because I cannot tell you how many times, no matter what you do, you tape to the floor, you do anything, someone is going to trip over your cord. And uh, so I think they call it like a high visibility orange or something like that. Um, so definitely check them out. It's tethertools.com. And I think they have a blog. It's called I think it's called Tether Talk. Dot com. I may be wrong if it's, I'll, I'll put it somewhere if I'm wrong about that. But guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, just enjoy the video.